Hey, and welcome back to another Revit Tools video. In this video, we're going to be looking at the temporary hide and isolate tool down here at the bottom left of your screen. We can see it here. It is the temporary hide and isolate there. It is the sunglasses. And let's just look at some of the options that we have when we use this. We've got apply, hide, isolate view. We can isolate a category hide a category, isolate an element, or hide an element, reset, temporary, hide, and isolate. So what is all this? Well, before we get into it, if at any point in this video you happen to learn something or you just like the video, like me, like something, like anything, demolish that like button. It really helps me out a lot. Also, please consider changing the phase of that subscribe button to existing. It really helps me out so much. So let's get into it now. So temporary, hide, and isolate. What does that mean in general? Okay, well, it has to do with visibility. It has to do with temporarily hiding or isolating things. So we want to simply see something for a moment of time or in a particular view or see something specific in a view, isolate something in a way to where we don't see everything else, make it easier to model something. All of that is where this tool comes into play, and I find it very useful. So maybe in this example, let's we can look at walls. So I actually don't have the ability to use any of these options until I choose an element because I have to actually choose something before I can you know, affect it. I can isolate it or hide it or something like that. So let's choose a wall. And again, now I actually have some of these options lit up. I can isolate the category. I can hide the category, isolate the element, or hide the element. So let's go ahead and just go down through all these. Isolate the category. Well, what does that do? Well, I immediately get this blue border that is around my entire view. And whenever you see a border around your view, just know that it's not typical. Like it's, it's, generally something temporary and in this case it does say temporary hide isolate it tells you what you're doing in another instance maybe you've, you're showing constraints maybe you're revealed hidden uh, maybe you have some other temporary override that's on so what we see here is that yes we do have the temporary hide isolate on and we know it's working and all that because we only see walls remember we isolated the category of walls and so I only see walls. There's nothing else here. If I select everything, I, I only have walls, which is perfect. Maybe you want a view with all your walls. So that's great. And so once you're in this view and you've got the temporary height isolate, we've got now two options. I can't, again, choose one of these options here without selecting an element. But now that we're in this view, we've got a couple of different options that are lit up. I can choose apply, hide, isolate to the view, or I can reset this basically giving us everything that we had originally there. So when I first apply hide isolate to view, that's going to actually apply what I see to the view, and which means I'm going to lose this border and everything that's hidden will stay hidden permanently. Remember, this is temporary. So if I actually apply this, then it's, it's now stuck in my view. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's see what happens. So I'm gonna apply this and honestly, nothing happened except I now have that border and the only thing that's there is all the walls. And because I chose to isolate them and apply that isolation to the view permanently and not just temporarily. Okay, that's great. So I'm actually going to undo this so we can look at the other options. So now I'm back in my isolated situation. I've got all my walls only, and then I can just reset. And as soon as I reset, I can see everything that was in the view originally, everything's there. It's great. It's like nothing happened. Okay, perfect. So that's how you would get back. Now let's take this one step further. So I'm going to choose walls and door, like just choose walls and doors. And I'm going to choose a wall and a door and now isolate the category. And not only will this isolate the doors because I chose the doors, but also the walls. It will choose to isolate the category of whichever element that you choose. Okay, perfect. So now that that helps me because I can choose one of any element that I want to show the entire category of. That's very helpful and very easy to do very quickly. So maybe we want to take this a step further. So yes, we're, we're temporary hiding, but maybe I decide, okay, I want to just work with this particular room here, okay? I can start to choose this wall, choose this wall, this wall, and some of the doors that are attached to this room. And it, again, if we want to just look at this room, I can choose everything that has to that is like around this room and because I've chosen elements and regardless of the fact that I'm in temporary hide isolate I can come down here and I have all these options again so if I were to isolate the category 
well, what do we think we'd see? Because I've chosen a number of walls and a number of doors, we would continue to see all of the walls and doors in this entire model. And because we want to just look at this room I, and just work with this room, I don't want to do that. Instead, I want to isolate the element. And so what this will do, isolating the element will isolate everything I've selected only. Okay, so let's choose that. And again, we're actually isolating everything that we've selected. Everything else in the view is no longer visible, but I've, I'm still in my temporary hide. So like you can take this as far as you want. You can, you can even break it down again if I want to just work th with this door. Now, obviously you could have done, you could have selected this door, chosen isolate element from the beginning. You don't have to work your way down necessarily, but I can go that far. I can continue to do this. But now I can also choose to apply this so I can only see this door in the entire view or I can reset it and we just get everything back. Okay, that's great. So what else are we looking at here? Well, we're looking at hide category. So again, let's now choose just one basic wall and I can come down here and I can hide the category. So that will hide all the walls, anything that's considered a wall category in the entire project. And Another way to do this, and honestly the way I prefer to do that, if you want this to be permanent, that is, if you go into the visibility graphics, come down to walls, that's where you'd want to actually hide it. And now, because this is temporary, we do not see the walls hidden because it's not permanent, okay? So instead of that, let's go ahead and apply this to the view, okay? So now our wall category is hidden. So my guess is if I come into the visibility graphics, come down here, I can see that yes, walls are now no longer visible. And maybe that's what you want. I don't know. But nonetheless, that's how you can hide a category. I prefer to come in here if I want it to be permanent and just choose to hide all of these specific categories in the visibility graphics of that view. But that's just me. And again, you can always turn it back on right here too. So finally, we're looking at just simply hiding the element. I can choose this wall, that wall, and come over here and then hide the element. Okay, we've seen this before. This is nothing special. And this is basically the exact same as coming in here to our modify tab, selecting an element, modify, and then just hide an element. Now the difference between them is that again, this is temporary. This will bring up the temporary hide isolate border. This is all temporary. Whereas if I were to use this tool and just hide the element there, that's not temporary. So if I were to now reset this view, then that wall is still hidden. It's because I actually hid it permanently, you know, permanently, sure, whatever you want to call that, more permanently than temporary as in not temporary. So we've gone through what all those look like. And at this point, it's really up to you to decide how you want to use this tool because it's very versatile. You can select everything that you want and go from there and decide to show exactly what you want. So a lot of times what I do and the way I use this tool is I'll just simply select like an area. Like if I know I need to model something in this entire area, what I'm probably going to do is choose all these elements and then just simply isolate, isolate this. And now I'm immediately very easily getting down to working within this view very quickly and seeing what's there and starting to model everything I need to in that area very quickly and easily. So again, that's very simple. I hope you learned something. You know, it, it's a pretty simple tool. It's just temporary and it's always temporary until you apply it permanently. So I, I, again, I hope you learned something. If you did, please demolish that like button. It really helps me out so much. And if you would, please consider changing the phase of that subscribe button to existing. That also helps me out very much. And if you blasted this long into the video and you watched this far, really thank you. Thank you very much. That helps me out so much. Sure hope you have a wonderful day. Hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.